So, I have agents ask me all the time for my opinion on splits. And so today, I'm going to give it to you. All right, but I'm going to warn you because what I'm about to say is going to be very, very blunt. All right, but look, before I get too far into it, I just want to say that you do not have to be in real estate to watch this video. All right, because what I'm about to say pertains to all professions. Seriously, I don't care what you sell, from real estate to cars to farm equipment to little Debbie snacks. All right, I don't care. But here's the deal. If you're just starting out, you should not care what your split is, okay? Your number one focus should be finding a company or firm that will help provide you with the right amount of intellectual capital to help you thrive throughout your entire career and your entire life. But if you're a veteran and you've been in the game for a long time and you've been producing year in and year out, you should 1000% care about what your split is. Seriously, I don't care what anybody tells you, all right? There is not one profession in this world, from flipping burgers to a hedge fund manager, that should not provide you with the opportunity for advancement. None of them, all right? And if you value yourself and you respect yourself, you should be pushing for more all the time. And if you go to your brokers, your team leaders, or whoever it is, and you're pushing for more and they're not willing to give it to you, well, here's the deal. They're telling you that they don't value you. Not just that, they're telling you that you're not responsible for your own success. They are. And that is some bullshit. Seriously, you know how I know it's bullshit? Because you can look everywhere throughout this planet. Everywhere. And there are many, many people who work for the same companies in the same environment. Some people flourish some people perish all right okay so you should be pushing all the time matter of fact you need to look at yourself like a professional athlete okay you need to ask yourself would LeBron James and KD would they play for the league minimum <laughs> I don't think so now they may take a pay cut to help the team out but if you're not getting like profit sharing, then that analogy really doesn't apply because you taking a pay cut or a smaller split only benefits certain people. And that's the people above you or the people who own the company. All right. So you need to be pushing all the time. And I'll tell you flat out, the people at the top, they better be paying you well. They better hope that they got the right players on their team. Because when the proverbial shit hits the fan here in a couple of months, <laughs> they're gonna need some studs, straight up, all right? So with all that being said, I'll leave you with this. If you are trying to figure out what firm to go with or what company to get into, if you're just starting out, one of the best things you can do, one of the best metrics you can use is to look at the retention rate of the company or the firm you're looking to join. Because if a company has a good retention rate, that means they have loyal people. And loyal people are usually people that have been treated well. And if the firm's treating them well, chances are they're gonna treat you well as well. And speaking of treating yourself well, well, I hope you guys all treat yourself well with a nice glass of whiskey this weekend. It's good seeing you guys. And as always, salute.